What's up, everyone? So the first item I have is Ultimate Avengers, the movie. And I mean, yeah, if, if you haven't seen it, it's actually pretty good. It's it's pretty much another version of the live action Avengers, you know. Um, and I, yeah, I guess I would say another good um, Marvel animated series, all animated feature there. Yeah, not it's not bad. Here's the back there. Got some special features. Okay, nice uh, shield there. Okay, they uh, reference the live action one or advertise it. And some comics, yeah. I guess I'll check it out, but it's probably used already. So yeah, I mean, it's not bad a uh, Marvel Avengers movie, but uh, I guess because we have the live action one, not a lot of people are really going to be interested in it. But if you check it, if you find it somewhere real cheap and you haven't seen it, I'd say give it a watch. Pretty good. And the next thing is they actually made a, a sequel to this and then the third film, which is based off their kids. But the Hulk is still there because he's immortal. So uh, if you haven't seen any of them, check them out. But I will be getting rid of this one because I actually found it on Blu-ray with the sequel. So keep an eye out. But yeah, not bad. Next, I have the actual Avengers. That's what we call ourselves. Sort of like a team. Or the live action Avengers that everyone knows. The first one, the starter all. Nice, we got that four disc combo pack there. It also comes with a nice holographic look. It's almost like he's coming out at you. Like it's coming right at me. <laughs> Whoa. There's the back there, all four discs. Oh, because uh, it also comes with 3D, DVD, Blu-ray, and the digital copy. Okay. I don't I don't think I can use a digital, digital copy because I don't have a, or I guess I would have to buy a disc reader. A slip cover there. Yeah. Okay, all same thing. Uh, same pictures, case covers. Yeah. Okay, so they decided to like stack them. So here we have the DVD. This is Paramount on it. I guess they distributed it. I don't know. And then on the back is the digital copy, well, which I probably won't be using. <laughs> And then here's the, the Blu-ray 3D. Sadly, I don't have a 3D TV, so I can't use it. And then the regular Blu-ray. So I guess I'll put this on top, because if I won't be using the 3D, then I'll put that behind there. But yeah, at this point, this movie is a classic. I mean, it started the entire team up, it brought them all together, and you know, now we have a whole bunch of other Avengers movies, and now we're waiting for Avengers 5. So, pretty cool. And um, I do have the, um, for the, dang, what was it? Oh, for phases of the Marvel movies, I do have phase one and two, and then I did start buying phase three, so I guess I'll continue there, but I mean, there's just so many movies, you know, but it's a, it's a pretty good saga, so I guess it's worth it. So yeah, definitely nice to have this one in my collection. And next we have Iron Man. That's, is that Iron? Technically I am. Iron Man 3, there we go. Yeah. I haven't seen this one in a while, but I believe it was kind of the weakest one in the trilogy. But still, it's Iron Man. He started the whole thing, and it was pretty good. And at least we got to see all the new different suits. But yeah, I guess I will say the enemy was kind of weak. And then, like, if you know, it was a fake enemy. or I don't know. It's, it's just... It wasn't perfect, but it was still pretty good. There's the back there. Oh, I hear something shaking. I hope it's... Well, we'll see what it, what it is. And there's some bonus there, and then Marvel one-shot. I mean, at this point, everything's on Disney Plus, so if you're like me who likes physical media, then you buy it. But if not, 
well, they just enjoy it on Disney Plus and hopefully they don't remove it. So that's one reason I like to buy physical media. Yeah, get that slip curve off. Oh, something fell off. So probably um, one of the piece of the holders or uh, I don't know. Oh, it looks like it was a piece of, oh, here we go. It's like it chipped off or something. That's weird. But yeah, here we go. We got the DVD and the Blu-ray. I mean, that's all you really need. So yeah, Iron Man, definitely nice to complete the trilogy. And uh, maybe I'll watch it one more time or watch it again. I haven't seen it in years. Next, we got Snowpiercer. And man, if you haven't seen it, you gotta watch it. This is a really good movie. It's an American masterpiece. It's 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 about this guy who's on this train, and each each like room in the train is like a different. There's like different things happening in each room, or it's like a. I don't know. It's it's weird, but it's really good, and it's a must watch, definitely for sure. But it is radar. I think it's radar. Yeah. So let's keep the kids away from this. But yeah, definitely a great film. Chris Evans is there. It is a little dark because it's kind of like a post-apocalyptic world and everyone kind of lives on a train now. I'm talking about a post-apocalyptic nightmare. Got the special features there. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Got the Blu-ray and DVD. Oh, wait. Disc 1, Disc 2. I huh? did not see that. So disc one with the movies, maybe a few features, and then the, the rest of the bonus features, or the special features on this one. And they even did a good work on the, on the design for discs. Real cool. But yeah, you definitely have to check it out if if you haven't. I mean, very it, it, it does get dark, but it also, man, it, it's just a really good story to check out. So definitely happy to have it. Definitely happy to, to pick it up. I might actually watch it real soon just because of how much I remember and how great it was. So, awesome. And finally, we have I Am Legend. He's a legend! And I have, I have not seen this in a while, and I'm actually happy that this one includes the alternate, ver alternate theatrical version with the controversial ending, not rated. So yeah, I do remember that this thing had like two endings, and I forgot if it... If it was canon or not, and one of I forgot, but yeah, at the end of the day, I Am Legends a, a classic. But uh, one thing a lot of people don't know is that there was actually this is actually a remake, and the original version was The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price. And so, if you haven't seen that one, eh, well, I don't know if a lot of people would want to check it out. It is an old black and white film, but still, I like when I first saw it, I was like, bro, it's literally literally took the same thing from I Am Legend. And when I did my research, it's literally, I Am Legend is literally a remake of that one, so. My mind is blown. I don't know, that just kind of interested me. So if you haven't, so if you don't know, I Am Legend is actually a remake. <laughs> but I guess I would say it's actually a better remake than the original, but the original was a black and white version. But the actor who did it originally was actually pretty good too, so. So if you are interested, maybe you should check it out. Okay, and just the Blu-ray. Sometimes that's all you really need. Yeah. And at the moment, um, we haven't got a sequel, but there are rumors of a sequel happening. So if you're watching this in the future, there might be a sequel. But as of now, we're waiting for a sequel. So we'll see what happens. I don't really think it needs a sequel. And if it does, maybe it should stay with just those two movies. But at the end of the day, like I guess it is nice to revisit this world, but... Nowadays, we are getting a lot of like sequels and remakes and reboots and stuff. So I guess not too surprising, but at least they waited years to bring this one back. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, consider subscribing. God bless. And I'll see you later. Take care.